And for the start of the growing season as people letting their lawns grow for the entire month of May. It's called No Mow May. And now the city of Dubuque is asking people to follow that trend, passing a resolution on the issue. Experts say having long grass this time of year can create more food resources for early season pollinators. We spoke with the city leader about that push in Dubuque today on the TV9 News First at Four. He said while people are encouraged to let things grow, the goal isn't to let your yard get out of control. The purpose is to increase pollinator habitat in the urban area of Dubuque. Um, we aren't necessarily saying not to mow at all. We're encouraging people to less, mow less frequently um, and to maintain their lawn in accordance with uh, the spirit of the No Mow May uh, initiative. He also says you can register your lawn with the city so people know that you are purposefully letting your lawn grow. No Mow May actually started in the UK three years ago where people wanted better support for bees and butterflies. Iowa law actually requires No Mow May and June and part of July, but that's only for roadside ditches, medians, and other rights of way. It's to protect pheasants. The game birds will build their nests in those grassy areas that are easily damaged by mowers. It is illegal in Iowa to mow those roadside ditches until after July 15th, and the Iowa DNR says waiting even longer can help even more.